Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. It's Div2 time. Div2 time. Top dogs fighting each other. Blackheart's booty call against Chenji. And I want to analyze the drafts. The drafts and uh, yeah, the main, let's say the critical positions, uh, the critical turning points in the games. Uh, yeah, that's the goal of the, of the video. Not sure if we gonna, if we make all the three games in one go, maybe we, we split it up. Uh, let's focus on, on Cursed Hollow though now. So yes, Cursed Hollow, first pick Hogger. Love it, who doesn't? Broken Hero. Chenji on the other side, replying with Lucio Dipples. Again, top of the meta. Uh, no one can complain. Uh, I like I like all these three heroes, three broken heroes. But now it's starting, it's getting interesting because we're starting to diverge into a bit more niche. It's Tychus, Tychus reply, Tychus Garrosh reply into tables. I mean, it's a standard reply, right? It's standard. Uh, people like to play this. I'm not the biggest Tychus fan. I wouldn't play it necessarily. Can be played. Let's see how this plays out. Uh, yes. So right into D3. Hogger, Garrosh, Tychus. We slamming both dips already. Tracer, Grey. Oof. I mean, as for Tracer, Perfect match. All three matchups, are, I, I like them for Trace. It's just genius. Also, I believe it's uh, a deny pick, no? Uh, from the Black Hearts. I think they like to play these two as well. Can be another factor. Why not? And Grey. Hmm. I don't necessarily love him into Garrosh. But. Alpha killer can be fine, I guess, but it's just far in level 16. Anyhow, uh, you still need to complement macro wise the trace, right? Uh, Grey can do the camps, you need a boss, uh, someone who does the boss on the map usually. You like uh, at least one character for that. Uh, it's cool, it's finish, finish uh, into Tychus, Tychus and Hogger. Why not? Uh, can see it working, can go both ways. Can go both ways. Okay, so there's four picks for the Gen G and the last rotation selection for Black Hearts going Raynor Anduin. As for the Raynor, hmm, I mean, yes, I guess the angle is that you want another AA character into the Tracer, into the Lucio, into the Devils. It's basically man not mandatory, but uh, it's a safe way to go. So from that perspective, yes. Also, you have the knockback uh, for the Devils, f for, for, for the three characters. Why not? However, it's a bit wheelchairish character, right? I mean, maybe perhaps Cassia. I can see also some other A's being useful. Uh, not the biggest fan, but see the angle. Let's see what will be the outcome. And Anduin, last pick, very last pick Anduin, when you already see those four characters. Hmm. I mean, it's not his map in a sense that rotation wise he will not ever be safe. He has a lot of protection though, like Garrosh, Hogger, a uh, lot of peel. I don't quite see the light bomb potential. Maybe with Hogger can be played. Perhaps with, with Garrosh if it's set up in some way. But. It will be mostly used defensively, you know, as countering gauge against, like, basically Genji will be diving them, will be diving black, black hearts, that at least, like, my, that's my idea about when I see these characters. 
but I don't know. I'm not convinced. I, I think there are better picks. Uh, I think this is like I don't know either a comfort pick or uh, I don't know what to pick. Uh, I pick Andrin. Not sure. But let's see. Uh, maybe they won't. They, maybe they won the map, right? And as for the Genji, the very very last pick into all this Samuro. <laughs> I like the spiciness. Spiciness is good. Uh, absolutely. But pff, I'm not an ex Samuro expert. I can't really give you, yeah, much in depth prediction on Samuro how it will play out here. I mean, tough to say. Tough to say. But 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 okay, predictions, predictions for these drafts on cursed hollow. I mean. To me, overall, solid drafts, like, not much spiciness, except the Tracer and Samuro. I think the spiciness factor definitely on the Genji side. This is more safe drafting. This seems to be more execution based. Uh, good peeling, good diving. To be honest, I don't favor much any side. I think it can legit go either way I mean as for this simply character wise I, I like the Genji, Genji more but the Genji draft more but yeah honestly bit of wheelchair bit of wheelchair this is all mo mobile full mobile Full Overwatch. No Overwatch. Anyhow, let's see. Let's see the critical moments in the game. Yeah, we was fast for that to do critical moments anyway. Talents. On the Brawl. Ace. That's the reason to to draft uh, Reynor nowadays, I believe, not Exterminator fan. Haha, <laughs> dash, I love it. I love the dash. Half level div, it's okay. We still go to level 10. Body check. Uh, against W Devils, the body check, it's wow, just wow, uh, I love the, yeah, the talent selection, huge props to, to the garage player, I like it. Uh, the Undoing, I don't know, I played a bit of Undoing, uh, honestly, uh, I don't, I don't know, not the Undoing main, I don't like this though, maybe someone can drop, uh, in comments, uh, yeah, their impression on their thoughts on on the talent. Would love to hear your, your thoughts, because to me it's I don't know. I would almost say a red card, almost a red card. Otherwise, this looks yeah. I love the dash. Uh, I know it's alternative, but I'm in full spirit of this. Parting gift, nice. Standard, standard. Okay, so we closing in on the level 10. OBJ, one to one. All fourth standing, uh, quite evenish, no? Quite evenish. Okay. And the police is coming. The police is coming. The boss is low. Still, the 10 didn't proc, they still choose to stay. The bomb is huge, Vikings. The 
10 proc just now and the undoing still getting it off is super clutch meanwhile grey man Oof. Red team has destroyed the fort. Red team. Okay, we had the curse. Like the game is still evenish, but OBJ is coming. One lever down, three forts down. Like, honestly, in my view, the, the red team scales better. So if anyone should be ahead, it should be the blue ones. And they are not, so in my view, it's troubles. Some are doing some other things. Nice, I'm doing surviving. Hogar being broken. Fifteen, fifteen. I mean, still playable. Honestly, still playable. Haha, <laughs> someone getting caught, but he might get banished. Oh, undoing. You can't be this boy. Let's rewind that. The whole sequence. Okay, there is the Samu. Can I sketch? Nice flank by Old Master. Okay. Oh, he made it slap. Nice trade for the red team. Chase for the blue ones uh, and the equalized. At least on the level, not on the buildings. Now round two. Round two on the bosses. Lucio doing Lucio things. Gims is back. Where is the Samu? Okay. No one dying.
this seems quite critical. 1717. Hogres oh, FK though. Can they stall till Hogger comes? And they was engaging 5v4. That's nice. That is Alpha Killer, so that's a lot of damage. Was there not a pool? There were two pools? Like, sorry, but... I'm not sure what I'm doing. You just pull him straight right now. You pull the garage. Oh, she's kneeling instead, instead of pulling. Ah, oh, that's no bueno. Oh, without the tongue, it's hard now. It's hard. Nice turn. Like honestly, the Anduin in this in this draft settings, it's like to deny the Dibless engage, and when he does, and he doesn't deny with his D that the Dibless engage, why are we picking Anduin? This is just now seems like a snow, real just snowball to the victory, no? We will just snowball to the victory. Like the place, boss and twenty, and with twenty you just win the game. Okay, game over. Game over. Ah, oh, I didn't see all the talents. Let me rewind the talents. Standard. I like this. This is this is uh, interesting. Uh, I like this adjustment to the garage. This you need to have to go in this game. Good. I don't like this. Otherwise, good, fine. This is 300 IQ into the boss. I love it. I like this. Not sure about the seven. This is the amount of peel you have. I think you can be more greedy with 30 talent. But otherwise, I like it. This is what you need to play into the boss somewhat. Okay, game number one. Like the boss play at level 10 was critical and yeah, I didn't like these two picks. Anyhow, game two, uh, first pick Vala, we answering straight with the Tracer and the Haka. Wow, Tracer so, so early in the draft, wow, just wow. Uh, it's uh, asserting dominance already in the draft, not only with the gameplay, but already in the draft. Uh, I love it. I mean, I love it if it works, and I hate it if it doesn't. So it better works. Uh, X Factor Spiciness, uh, of course I'm rooting for the Tracer. Execution based, fun hero. 
let's see uh, the hack on the map is just uh, insane it's just too nice and we already answering with Anduin and Genji okay uh, but they already had Lucio like I was thinking maybe to deny the light bomb with the tracer but no they already had Lucio why do you gay why do you go on doing here anyhow uh, back to this G2 we are already showing the Genji I guess the idea is I mean it's fine-ish into tracer but I guess the idea is to have the combo but then when I see the Uterpeg and the Anduin like this is I don't think this is necessarily a functional foreman and I better hope that it's John offlining based on the rose I guess it she is so okay you have the combo potential but I don't think it's necessarily functional it's like two ranges you don't have you don't have uh, reliable I mean okay reliable engage so you have through the combo but it's on one minute one minute cooldown is it reliable enough you have to be on point every minute uh, Uther is good though into the tracer uh, okay but anyhow okay so they showed already two dips in the first two rotations and the undoing I mean into tracer yeah okay I guess the idea is is the Genji bomb and now we're replying back with yes Brightwing on the map just superb Se second second global into Genji just awesome and it's grey again hmm good into Vala sounds okay seems like these two go well together supposedly not sure uh, anyhow we have these four and into that we playing the Uther Johanna I mean that super sub I said Johanna I guess I guess must be offline uh, into the Haka to get unstop what are you using it for why are you going johanna like you see lick and you see poly while you already have had like this this ball with like three potential cleanses with divine shield and you still on top of that feel the need to cap it with jaw uh, but it's blind into them it's blind though into them blind can be valuable but you'll get outrated outrated by the dahaka no johanna will be always late i don't know what to think about this i mean I can see the pros, but the cons at the same time, do they outweigh? Do the pros outweigh the cons? We'll see in the game. And Anup, uh, Anup into this backline. I mean, Anup into double support generally is not the best. It's by far not the best <laughs> into double support. Why would you go Anub here? Interesting. But uh, I guess it's in the spirit of the draft. It's a uh, full dive -ish. Prediction. Prediction time. Like, this is the Uther double sub death ball -ish. Against dive comp with the Haka should be usually being faster on a rot 
but again it's like again it's like basically four auto attackers which kind of make it solid to drafting so I don't see necessarily a draft win or draft lose who do we give who do we give uh, the favors like I don't think the Genji the Genji bomb justifies the Uther I don't think you have enough uh, I don't think there is enough engage like frequent enough engage but let's see maybe they they did this ball they simply this ball yeah to me this just looks slightly impotent honestly yeah, so I prefer this one let's see let's see the critical parts of the game <laughs> talents oh we can focus talents later uh, level 5 Shots even. They're playing a bit from behind. But it makes sense, like against double sub you usually need uh you need ultis. It kind of makes sense you don't get ahead. It would be super bad for the for the red team if they would be losing with losing with this Lorade. Take the altars and put an end. Okay, level tens for the red team. We have the blinds. We have the double blinds. Okay, so this is the com This is the first combo straight on level ten, and it hits only the Anup, and he doesn't even get killed. I mean, you used your buttons, that's good things, but the execution is just not good. The hack of soaking the 10. Oh ho ho ho! This is ballsy. Where is the bright wing? Okay, it's still still three more sex uh, on the poly. They still have not kept it. Vala out of resources, Uther out of mana. Why there is no one zoning? Like, what are you, Thatcher, doing? There's no one on top. And now it's late because they're gonna get tense, so they abandon. Wait, one, once more. Critical moment. Yeah, we saw this. There is the stall. Johanna straight up going into the air. Hitting just the Haka. That's not great. And now Johanna... Now Johanna should hold this. This is their only chance to cap it. 
Well, she's just bleh. Okay, so and so they give up because uh, the blue team gonna get uh, ults. That's understandable. We have 13 more minutes to go. Oh yeah, yeah, lot of tunnel eyes. So the game is basically even. How many stacks by now? I can't see. 56, I guess. Not that much. And I don't wonder because you don't have the forcing. Second combo hitting, well, hitting two, but one is unstop. So it's essentially hitting only grey. And doing nothing. And now, basically, for one more minute, you are impotent because. You don't have an engage. Twenty five. Sorry, I'm slightly th AFK thinking about other things. Uh, what's going in front of our eyes? They invaded the camp successfully and they are still like, oh, but we go for blood against its two healers, right? Wow. Surviving all this burst? Not anymore. Meanwhile, Genji not getting his value. Oh, yo, 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 Uh, I'm sorry, once more, how did we escape? We saw this, we saw this. Okay, it was just a dash. Just a dash. The convoy is ready for the red team. Will they capitalize on it? Okay, Jana going first, that's nice. <laughs> That's beautiful. The pussy he's in. Anyhow, if they want to be doing the combo, he's too far. Okay, he wants to invade at all costs. This is not how you play the combo. Two people getting stunned. The hacker is burrowing just now. Ah, it's so messy, honestly. Like, it's only Divine chilled up. Still silence from the hacker. Okay, let him successfully invade it. Nice. So they did get that value. It's good. Thirteen, twelve. Combo in fifteen. Thirty-two against twenty-four. Unfortunately, even it's combo time. It's combo time, but Kenji catching the way. Blue team is pushing. Okay. 
We don't have divine shield up. Okay, that's nice. Tana. Okay, and here is the combo time. Two people getting caught. He's killing the other. That's nice. XP wise though, still evenish. Thirty seconds till the combo. Basically, okay, level sixteen soon. There's no one yet. So how this plays out? Genji, too far from the Anduin. Are they stalling for 16? Okay, it's just Joe playing 1v1, uh, just trading 1 for 1. Uh, Joe got killed. Mm. You just Jonna get killed and you stay. Like what is this decision making? And she she could have get out but she keeps stalling. They are like, we are so close to 16, we can play for the bows, but no. Imagine you don't dive here, you get the 16 and you can be so aggressive. Instead, Jonah clearly grieves. And now the whole team should just retreat ASAP. What they do, they stay around. This will be... Uh, oh! Oh, it seems... Yeah, that's a misclick. Unfortunate. I'm waiting for the out R of the Uther. They survived. Insane. Insane they actually survived. Forty seconds till the combo. No sixteen. Still waiting for the 16, it's online now. It's four against three, Genji is catching the mid lane. This is not worth it. This is not worth it, red team. You as for different here. I mean, yes, the hacker can burrow and uh, over number you anyway. Hmm. I don't think the top camp is is worth it. I would just defend as for it, but.
Okay, we're playing the top game. Well, basically, the red team like for conceded two of the bot fort just for sending Genji top. Is it worth it? Anyone think so? So you lose both forts and now you still don't get this OBJ, right? Okay, Johanna engage. And we are following up with the Genji. This is kind of big actually. But we are out of reach. One, two, three, four. Not enough. Not enough. The lockdown is not long enough for Vala to get the damage in. So it's all flashy, but not purposeful. Oh, yeah, yeah, the attack living on an edge. Ah, oh, nice pull. Beautiful pull. But now, undoing getting caught is GG. Where is the Greyman? Okay, Greyman is missing his own. And two dips. Why are the two dips are AFK? Okay, Genji no mana, so I guess he's like, let me, let me tap, tap, tap. Oh ho ho. Oh ho ho. Okay, so we know why Genji is out. But what Vala is going out? Oh my god, this Greyman bought so much time. for one this mine and mine alone. You will pay. Twenty. Do we want to force before twenty? Game is going in. What are they on stop? No, we forcing. Just on the Anu, basically. Why don't you wait 20? Did you have to rush it? Like honestly, they were in the full grasp of the game and they decided to run it. I mean, okay, Anoop into double soap necessarily the best, but I guess when you get the cocoon and when you, uh, yeah, cocoon the Uther, uh, they don't have a good character to to burn the, the cocoon. Why not, I guess, but you are living on the, the thin ice. Oh, six cap. Okay, I guess this is game over, right? 
combo time. Jana no house. Genji being AFK. Like, bro, you need to be next to your Anduin. What are you trying to? Are you just trying to stall? Like, you are your. The engage of the team. Like, sorry, but Genji basically lost the game on his own. Okay, it's game two. Game three. Shrines. Shrines, shrines, shrines. Uh, first pick, wow. First pick, Greymane. First pick, Tracer. Wow. I mean, first pick, Grey, oh, wow. It's just... Uh, I don't think it's uh, it's a meta pick. And they are still so confident to just slam it first pick. Like, in my eyes, it's just so much balls and I'm loving it. I'm loving it if it works and <laughs> I'm hating it if it doesn't. But yeah, it's just showing some some balls. Ah, uh, it's nice. Okay, we reply with D plus Hanzo. Why not? Both standard. We willingly going already D plus into grey. He's good on the map though. Follow up with the Garrosh again. The treatment like the from the first game, and again the the Anduin. Okay. Mm. We are replying with self and bright wing. I mean the damage into the tank is good. Countering it, like they're squishy against uh, Grey, but you have the bright wing to bully him. And against these fours, we are routing the draft uh, the draft waste, the Tychus. Additional damage into the Tibos and Jaw. This is Joe offline on for Genji and now it's Joe offline for for this team. I guess the blind. But these two characters I mean yes it hurts them, but not as much as some other characters. Hmm. Let's see. I, I wonder about the value about this one. And Xul ah, I'm not fan of Xul. What does he do? In this draft, tell me what what is what does he do? What is he supposed to do? Why don't you go place? Why don't you go? Imagine you go Irel. I'm not sure about Leo. Maybe, actually yes, Leo Malta. Why Xul? I just don't see the Xul angle. Anyhow, let's go to critical. Critical situations. Just fast forward to level ten. Oh, sorry. I'm just put a bit. Stop daydreaming. Do one kills. Blue ones are ahead slightly. It's the blind build. Double Q. 
Healing Reduct, I like the Healing Reduct. No more on Garrosh Healing Reduct. Okay, level 10, we just got Garrosh. Okay, Garrosh got lost in the maze of infernal shrines in the forest in the deep deep forest of infernal shrines Xul it's not even avoiding he's going percentage to counter this too okay okay a bit of macro laning phase still more 11 minutes to go are you fighting here? Okay, so there is the old master engage. Xul is AFK, but he's probably coming. Two, four, five. Uh, this engage seems so random. He got healed. There is one arrow. There is second arrow. Like the silence from, from the Sylvanas didn't do anything. Yeah, just based on the posy alone. Yeah, the blue ones just wins. A bit of a engage fuck up. There was a clear desync on the team. Next critical position. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Garrosh against Gims. Oh, he's jumping away though. Nice. Are you surviving? Yes, he does. Okay, so it's Shrine, but we don't have level 13. Like, games are out, the macro is perfect, right? Are we waiting for level 13 or not? I guess the goal is... That, that gives us too much behind, we want to play this anyway. Level 13 proc. The the arrow is beautiful. Counter engage. Can we? But we are low, and there is the healing reduct. The healing reduct is huge. So going back, we defend the position by the lightning breath. No one dies. The drill is drilling. And we have no healing for the boss. And Joe. Okay, we are back up. Oh, we have the healing again. Oh ho ho. This flying by the Greyman is nasty. Beautiful done. Beautiful undoing actually value. Another goat for this road. Oh my god. This grey man just doing the dead thing. <laughs> I 
and the camping on top and we have the obj and this is the end i guess i mean you should win from this position if you don't you are just griefing the game in coordinated environment of course Sixteen is real close. Real close, and there is the call. We go for level sixteen. This is a bit risky. And we fight here again. How oh, the Xul value? Behold, nice arrow, but sixteen propped. Nice try. The game should be lost though. Like, the draft will work. Both drafts can work, but the execution is so far on the blue side. Seventeen to sixteen now the left diff is not that big, we are just three fourths down. Maybe they can get now I mean they should get an even fight now. Somewhat even, right? The same talents. Oh he's looking, he's looking, he wants the fight. Sylph is the fool, uh yeah, the Q E B He's forcing, forcing Still doing damage. Hog, I mean not the Hogger. Um, Garos is the clear target. You are drilling. John is AFK though. Oh, the undoing value. And we. Not bad. Thirty armor. Relentless soldier. I know he burned everything. I wonder what is the idea of Zul. Is he supposed to out macro the jaw? And the idea is to kill the front line with this? Will he ever like hit both of these two tanks with this? I mean, Greyman can be in, uh, at front too, but will you survive long enough? Actually, wait, 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 wait. Tychus got down as first with 30 armor. So the force paid off. There is a Daikus. Okay. No mana cell. Oh, okay. Team of solid and this is game. Yeah. 
They wanted to fall, but they didn't manage to. I mean, I did. They did manage to. Actually, I'm sorry. It's my bad. Ah, oh, they are 39 ink. Trying to pay the 20. And the red ones are like, but we have to do something now. Following the, ta the tank nicely. Okay, James is James is looking for the arrow, right? Okay, there's the arrow, misses. They killed the self. Okay. This is unfortunate. Pliable so if this survives, but you need to get 20. Deadly calm, keep this down. Now it's basically unplayable, and if Kim's dies, it's end. He lives. Will they get 20 and one proper or more team fight? They get 20. So let's avoid this last critical position. One, two, three, four, five. Nicely clumped up. How do we punish that? One, two, three, four, five. Oi, oi, oi. The Garrosh value, this flank. Just delete it. By the way, game is going piercing arrows. Oh, oh, very ambitious, but I, I understand. I mean, you have to, you want to do something. With that, five against two, can you defend? Shoot. Five against one, game over. So yes, I mean the Greyman popped off, the Greyman popped off, there was uh, at least one wrong, like very wrong engage, not on the same page with the team, no, nice series though, I mean overall uh, still like Given the state of Heroes Launch, still like pretty high level games from both sides. We are just trying to nitpick, point out like the critical situations and what went wrong in those. Or not what necessarily went wrong, I mean, always on the one side, but on the other side, like, yes, to decipher the, yeah, the critical place, good place, and mistakes. Uh, GG's do, but Black Hearts, really strong showing. First game one, like faster boss, and then winning the boss on when invading the the opponent's boss, and it felt like since the, there was no no chance of recovering. Here I really dislike the the Genji Genji plays rotations on the map. Game three. Black Hearts were just, just better. Okay, GG's. GG's. Congrats to Black Hearts. Congrats to Black Hearts. Well played. Everything from my side. See you, people.